So if you're using a straight edge or a ruler to do your cutting against, one of the things to remember is that if you use a plastic ruler and the blade is very sharp, it can actually dig out little chunks over time. And this only serves to translate into the piece. So if you've got a wobbly edge here, you'll get a wobbly edge on your piece. So it's not very good. The second reason I don't like using plastic rulers from experience is that you end up putting quite a bit of force against the ruler. And if the blade actually bites into the plastic, it can suddenly jump across. And had my thumb been in the way, I could have been quite badly injured. So again, I really don't particularly like them or trust them for that matter. So if we take a metal ruler, one of the complaints is that sometimes they can skid around a little bit when you're working. Uh, you should always cut gently rather than trying to do everything in one go. But another way to try and avoid this is to put a little bit of masking tape on the back, which just serves to give a little bit more grip. And so you find that when you cut it, don't try and do it necessarily in one, two or three cuts nice and smooth like that, are perfectly good. One of the other things to consider is that if the thing you're working on is actually bigger than the ruler you've got, you can end up cutting all the way down, like this, and then poorly realigning it, and that means you don't get a straight edge. So one good way to avoid that is start cutting Again, using one or two cuts, and then leave the blade inside the piece, slide the ruler against it, and then taking care to align where you were previously, and continue cutting. And you'll find that comes away and gives a much cleaner edge.